Why do chiropractors talk about orthotics? I thought they were spine doctors, they're back doctors, they're neck doctors, but they're talking about the foot? Well, here's why. First off, your feet are the foundation of your body when you're standing. So if there's something wrong with your feet, your spine's not gonna be straight, and that's gonna cause problems. So now your feet have all kinds of bones in them. It's not one solid bone. You've got the calcaneus and the talus, you've got the cuboids and the cuneiform and the metatarsals and the phalanges and everything else. There's lots of bones in the foot. So the foot is very complicated, and that's why we have podiatrists who are experts experts at the foot. Anything I say, if a podiatrist disagrees with it, you listen to podiatrist, not me, because like you said, and I said, I'm a spine doctor. However, there's something I know about the foot. The reason it has so many different bones is because each one of those bones need to move. And when they move, they tell the brain a certain specific message that's very, very important. For example, when I step on the ground, if the ground is slanted, my calcaneus on heel strike will tilt. That slight tilt instantly tells my brain, hey, the ground is slanted. It's not flat. It's not straight, it's slanted. And right away my brain says, okay, I'm gonna need to activate the muscles on one side of the body, deactivate the muscles on the other side, and balance you so that your leg muscles, joints, everything holds you upright so you don't fall over. Same thing happens if you step on the edge of a curb and your foot starts to roll. If you have proper coordination, the minute your foot lands on the edge of that curb and starts to tilt, your brain instantly knows what's going on down there. It activates all the muscles around your spine to counteract, it activates the pronei muscles, the soleus muscle, the gastro to bring your foot back to center so that you don't sprain your ankle, so that you don't fall. That's why the brain, the feet, and the spine are connected. The type of orthotics that chiropractors recommend, they are not designed to make your feet comfortable. They are designed to activate those nerves and tell the brain to maintain proper musculature around your spine so that you are upright and have proper posture at all times. You notice the orthotics, and this is a sample orthotic, the orthotics have these bumps and lumps in them. Sometimes if the heel tends to tilt in, we'll tilt it up a little bit just to keep that in the right place. But when you step, that bump tells your brain to activate certain muscles. Now these are gonna be custom made. We typically have you stand on a glass-like surface with laser technology. We go up and down the foot and create a digital mold of each of your feet looking for balance and symmetry. Then we have these made in a laboratory custom made for each of your feet so they can fit you properly. Some people's archers are higher and lower, further forward or back, or more medial or lateral. It puts them in the right place so that when you step, your feet are on the right place and your brain tells the muscles to hold your spine the way it's supposed to. Most people, and we're gonna demonstrate that in a minute, most people have some kind of asymmetric foot dysfunction that causes the spine to act differently. So when they squat down, the hips swivel to one side or one knee bends more than the other. And I've noticed a lot of times, unless there's significant knee injuries or ankle injuries, if you put this under the foot, that squat becomes much more symmetric and balanced, and that's a demonstration of how the brain through the feet makes your spine more healthy. I hope that is helpful to you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Sean come and demonstrate. We're gonna put these orthotics on the floor, shoulder width apart, squat without the orthotics. I wanna make sure that the shins and the low back are kinda of parallel when he squats down. And I want him to go all the way down as low as he's comfortable going and come back up. I wanna see how balanced he is, how stable and sturdy he is when he does that. Then we're gonna look at him from the back and I wanna make sure the hips don't swivel to one side more than the other, the shoulders stay flat, the hips stay flat, and the heel don't come off the ground. Then we're gonna have him stand on the orthotics. We're gonna look and see if the shins are more parallel with the spine. And then we're gonna repeat that test Again, looking at him from the back. When he is on the orthotics, do his heels come up or stay down? Do the knees bend symmetrically? Do his hips stay centered? If that's the case, then the orthotics are beneficial and that's how we know those orthotics would really benefit Sean. And you could certainly have this test done on your own as well if you have these samples. If not, I highly recommend get to a chiropractor who does the testing, has the laser technology to look at your feet digitally and then create these for you so you can have better balance. You get less tired during the day when you're working, if you're on your feet, but they even help your spine when you're sitting as well. Hopefully that helped you. Take care, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll talk again soon.